Tonight we have team coverage of the storm's aftermath in our area. A line of severe weather moved through Tennessee, Georgia and Alabama this afternoon. It delivered destructive winds, lightning and heavy rain. In Chickamauga, the National Weather Service reported winds up to 80 miles per hour. And that tore apart a family shed. Local 3's Abigail Martin has more. Cindy Gregg, the family is grateful the storm did not cause more damage and says today was the first time they have ever seen damaging winds hit their area. A Chickamauga usually is in a bubble. It seems like the storm will head right for us and then it'll kind of break around us. So it's definitely odd for us to get these strong winds. Kim McPherson has lived in Chickamauga all her life and she has felt safe in threats of severe weather. But when the storms came in, her power began to flicker. She went outside to move her vehicle in case hail hit the area. That's when she caught a glimpse of her shed. It was odd. Actually, the roof went that way first. And um, I actually saw it from the back porch, and then it kind of swiveled around, and then it went back over this way and then landed right here. McPherson quickly ran inside to take cover in the basement. After the storm passed, she went out to look for more damage. I was definitely surprised. We don't normally get the high winds, but all of the trees in the pasture were just laying down. I, there was no funnel cloud or anything like that. The creek's right behind us, so normally we deal with floods, but I think this is the first wind damage that we've gotten. McPherson says it was raining sideways, and the storm passed within 20 minutes. She says it was scary, but felt fortunate it was only the shed. Realistically, it's just a mess that I have to clean up. It's a small inconvenience, no worries. We'll just watch the weather, um, keep it on News Channel 3. McPherson says they will clean up, clean up the damage and hope to have a rebuilt shed just as soon as possible. Reporting live, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.